Hi, my name's Richard Hurst and what I'd like to do uh, right now is just show you how I would edit an image. Uh, so I'm just going to pull up Lightroom 4. There we go. And you can see uh, I've got an image already loaded. This is an image I took last weekend down in Dungeness in Kent. Uh, quite an apocalyptic looking landscape there. Lots of old wreck boats like this one. Uh, brilliant place to, to, to go for the day. Now, the idea I had for this particular day was I wanted to capture images like this and convert them into uh, a, like a moody black and white. Something I've not really done before, but I set myself a project and a little goal. And now what I'm going to do is show you the way I would edit this image uh, using Silver FX Pro and Lightroom Floor and a little bit of Photoshop as well. And just run you through the way I do things. I'm not saying that you know this is the correct way that you must do things, but I'm not saying it's the way I do it. So I just wanted to uh, show you, and uh, you know, um, and maybe it will give you some ideas and some food for thought to uh, have a little play around with. Firstly, just looking at this image, uh, there are a few dust spots on it that I can see. So I will just open it straight away up into Photoshop CS6. Right, I'll make sure I have the spot healing brush tool. And then what I would normally do is zoom in, have a little move around the image, sort of see where I can see any you know real obvious dust spots straight away. Uh, right, I won't obviously spend all the time doing that, uh, otherwise I'll bore you to death. What I do, once I've got the image there like that. I will come up and open it in Silver FX Pro. Right, here we go. So it loads the image as is on the screen. And here, down the left hand side, it gives you basically some presets. There's modern ones, classic ones, vintage ones, uh, a mixture of all, all sort of you know types. What I tend to do is I will look through them and see if there's something that sort of grabs my attention, uh, which I could use as a, like a base plate and something to work from. So let's click on this one, for example. This is high structure smooth, right, and here we are. First thing I wanna do, like I said, I wanna make it a little bit more moody. So I'm gonna firstly bring down the brightness, just so I start darkening that sky a little bit. Yeah, like that, about sort of about there. Uh, again, now you can see the dust spots that appear when you do this. Uh, again, but I'll go back uh, in more detail, you know, in, in Photoshop and and get rid of those, uh, you know, and spend a little bit more time on it. What I'm doing now is just giving you a like a a brief overview of of what I do to try and you know achieve what I like. Uh, once I brought the sky down, uh, looking sort of just how I want it. I then look at the rest of the image and the white points on, the white sort of areas on the boat here, I'd like to bring those out a little bit more. And to do this, you use a control point. And basically a control point is a, a point on the screen, like a radius, an area on the screen that you can control what goes on within within that circle. So you can, you know, you can change the, the sharpness, the brightness, the balance, lots of different things. So I've set the control point there. I'll check the size and I'll bring it down to sort of roughly the size I, I would like it. And then this is where I then start playing with the other sort of bits of the tools on it, just to adjust it, just how I would, you know, like it. And again, normally I would spend a little bit more time doing this, but I'm just sort of doing this now just to show you, you know, what, what's achievable using the software. I'll then maybe have another little one here. Again, just bring it down a little bit. Adjusting the brightness as well, a little bit too much there. Just adjusting the brightness, and the contrast, and amplifying the white a little bit. And then maybe I'll add another one about here. 
So I just want to make little parts of it brighter. And just have a little play around with it. Just up the structure and the contrast a little bit. And then, so like, I, you know, I'd have a play around with this and get it how I like it. So for now, let's just do that. That brings it back into Photoshop and we just have to wait for it to uh, make the changes and let them kick in. It sometimes can take, you know, a couple of seconds or so just to, uh, just to work. Right, boom, there we go, that's in. So what I will do first is I'll flatten the image. Now we've done the, uh, the conversion in Silver FX Pro. Again, I'll just look at those dust spots. I'll quickly move around the screen, tidy it up. Like I said, if I was doing this properly for print or something, I I'd spend a little bit more time on it. Uh, I may want to remove that boat on the on the horizon there as well. Uh, then I would open up levels. And here, as you can see, it shows the histogram. I would bring the whites right to the edge of the point there, which obviously brightens up the image, but a little bit too much in places. Uh, so I'll take my mid-tone slider, and I'll just have a little sort of slide around, just to sort of see, you know, get it to a point I might like it. No, that's a little bit too dark. I'll maybe take it to about there. Around there, maybe just yeah, no, about there. Uh, I would also possibly take a look at using the curves tool, just to look where I can change things slightly. Maybe something like that. Again, like I said, I would normally spend just a little bit more time flatten the image. Then come over and click on save. That then makes the changes. So we can close that down now. And then we're back in Lightroom with the with the closed uh, file and it's all open up there with the changes. Uh, I'll take another quick look at the histogram. I can see that I've clipped on shadows. I can see that I've clipped on, on highlights. I'd bring the highlights down slightly. The shadows at the bottom of the boat here and in here I actually like how they are. Uh, I wouldn't sort of, you know, get the sliding shadow and sort of like really open it out because I, I just don't think it, it it adds to it. I want it a bit moody. I want it a bit dark, a bit not sinister, but just a bit moody and a bit contrasty. So I'd leave that where it was in zero. Uh, I'd maybe just push the whites up slightly. Maybe just. Play around with the blacks again, just to just to have a look, and you know, eventually I'd I'd get to somewhere I'd want. I'd change the clarity slightly, just give it a little push, just to just to have a little bit more fine detail uh, in all the sort of paintwork on the boat there you, that you can see, uh, and that's basically what I would do uh, to arrive at that image. So that is what we've ended up with. That is what we started with. So as you can see, there's there's quite a bit of difference. Um, again, it's a work in progress. It's something that's quite new to me as well, but I'm exploring it and learning as I go. And I hope that I've sort of given you an insight to how I do things and given you a, a few tips that you can take away and, and practice yourself. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.